What's shaking everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to learn all the extracts of Interchange together. So let's go. We all need a spot where we're going to extract from, and this is the front of the mall. This is like the middle of the mall, the front of the mall. This is where we're going to go to every extract from. So this is what I'm going to call home base. And I'm going to show you on the map where it is, but this is every time I go to an extract, this is where we're starting from the front of the mall in the middle. So right here is where you can see is the basic map I'm going to use the whole time. And right in this green circle right here, this is the front of the mall. This is where we're always going to be running from. So if I show you any extract, this is where I'm running from. So we all have a point of reference. So the first extract we're going to hit is Railway Exfil, and you can see that is the only one that I'm about to show you that isn't on my list here, and that's because I spawned on that side of the map. So we're just going to add it right here, and this is the first place we're going to go. It's actually pretty simple to get there because as you can see, it's in the northwest corner, and it's pretty much just a diagonal run from our starting point to that location. But I will show you what it looks like. I go a little bit straight, and then I go right, but you can go whatever way you want, as long as you end up in the northwest corner. So we're just starting to run here. And as you can see, I'm going on a diagonal. I'm kind of just going towards the road. And then once I see that blue fence, all I'd have to do is make sure that I keep right of that blue fence. And there's a bunch of areas when you see this blue fence that are broken down right in front of us. You can see that just keep going northwest from there. Now we're going to come upon a, like a train yard station almost. It's a little construction area and you can see there's a bunch of trains and all you have to do is go between the train and this, oh, uh, I would say wall here. Now remember, I'm almost positive they haven't patched it out. You can go to the other side of this train to our left here and extract there also, but this is just where everyone extracts is right there in that corner. If you don't have the railway exfil, you're definitely going to have the Emercom checkpoint. These are the two main extracts of the map so if you don't have one you do have the other now from the starting position emrecom checkpoint is in the southeast quadrant of the map here or the bottom right as you can see now it is as simple as saying go south and then just go east and you're there but you can also do other things like you can go towards say the road and then go south and then go east it's all up to you and where you hear people and where you think people are going to be. But in the end, you want to show up there. Now, there are also ways you can go from inside of the mall and go get to the back of this map and get to Emercom checkpoint. I'll show you one location, but I'm not going to go too in depth because I just want to show you the basics of this starting point because everyone knows this place in the mall. It's it's outside the front of the mall. It's pretty hard to miss so we're not going to go in depth on the all the different ways you can get to extracts i'm just going to go super basic with it so now we're just going south all the way down once you get to the corner of the mall here from going south from our starting location you want to just hang a left now you can see in the distance on our right, there is a blue wall. If you want, you can just follow that blue wall all the way down and you get to extract. But you are a different color than a bright blue wall, so it's easy to spot you. People are expecting you to take that route a lot of times, so I wouldn't really recommend it. But now all you want to do is you want to just keep going down. Now, I didn't really want to go through the mall and show you guys, but as you can see, that ramp is to the back of Ollie. So if you know Ollie and you know how to get to the back of it in the shipping area, there's the ramp. But if if I were you and you don't know much about the inside of the mall, just do the way I'm doing. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of broken down vehicles here. So if you do get shot at 
or you're trying to duck and weave, you can hide behind one of these. But the main area we want to go to is right in front of us here. You'll see a transport, but so there's the transport and it's bed. You just want to jump this fence and get right inside here and you can extract. Now, the next one is called Scav Camp, and it's super easy to get to from our starting location, but not super easy to take. And let me explain. If you are a scav, you need to take it out with a PMC next to you. Or if you're a PMC, it's vice versa. You need a scav next to you. I think I've only ever taken it once or twice in my whole Tarkov career, but I am going to show you it now in case you do have a friendly scav or a friendly PMC with you. From our starting position, Scav Camp is like straight ahead. It's pretty easy to get to, and it's just a straight line. Once you get to the road here, you're just going to go to the left and look for this crane. And it has a shipping container it's holding up. And all you want to do is go behind this green one and go into this little nook area of it. So see how there's a green one and then one above it and you're there. But again, I'm a PMC, but I need a scav with me, even though I do have it. So it is a very tough extract. The next extract we'll talk about is hole and fence. This is a great extract, but there is one catch to it. You can't have a backpack on you. So if you are getting chased or you're super happy that you found something and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to ditch my backpack. This is a great extract for you because no one camps this area really ever. If you are planning to use this extract before you even go into interchange, think about using a big rig or a big armored rig like the TV 110 because it can still fit a lot of loot in there and it, it's okay that you're not having a backpack. Now, hole and fence is totally behind you pretty much actually from our starting position and you can get there a lot quicker if you just go through the mall but again i i don't want to go through the mall because it's very treacherous and as a beginning player you you will start to get to know the outside of interchange more than you will the inside so the first thing we're going to do is the same thing we did to get to emercom we're going to go south and then we're going to head east but instead of going all the way east once we see that ramp we're going to head north and I'm just going to show you where it is on the map, though. So this is definitely like the way to Emercom checkpoint from our starting position. We're going to go all the way south and then we're going to head east. And I'm just going to speed this up a little bit to get to the point more and and not waste your time. So now we're back to the ramp in the back of Oli. And like I said, you can get to this way from Oli. But once you see this area, all I want you to do now is go north. Or if you're coming this way, you're going to, you know, take a left. So you're going to go all the way down now and just follow the road. Now, be careful. Scavs do spawn here. And sometimes there are extract campers around this area because Emercom is really close. But... If you hear shots by Emercom and you're like, you know what, F this, I'm just, I just want to go to hole and fence. Just keep going down this road a little bit. So halfway down the road, you'll see this little divot and inside of it, see shipping containers and straight ahead, we can see the hole in the fence right there. And all you have to do is go right next to it and you're extracting. The second to last extract we're going to be looking at is called power station. This is a paid extract, which means you do need rubles to actually use the extract. And it, it has question marks there because it isn't always available for you. But I will show you what it looks like when it is available. And it used to be 3,000 rubles, and now it depends on your scav level. So I would just tell you, bring 6,000 rubles just in case. Power station is in the northeast corner from our starting position. So all we're going to do is go north. And then once we get to the corner of the mall, we're going to head east. Let me show you what it looks like, what the extract looks like right now. 
So we're just headed north right now, and we want to make sure we get to the corner of the mall. So now we're hitting the corner of the mall and we're just taking a right. And again, we're going all the way down until we see that power station. So now we're at the power station and we want to go into the back left corner of it. And right there, you'll see the, well, hopefully you'll see the SUV if you want to take this extract, but the SUV isn't always there. So as you can see, the SUV is there currently, but if it was not there, it would just be like a gate would be down. So as you can see, this is the extract right here. There we go. So the last exfil of this whole video is the safe room exfil, which is more of like an advanced exfil, I would say, because you need a really expensive key card to open it up. You need the 11 SR key card right now. It's going for 800,000 rubles, and that's pretty late in the wipe. So earlier in the wipe, it's a lot more expensive than that. But just know that has to be in your pockets or in your gamma or wherever. And you also have to make sure that this where it says safe room exfil is green. If it's not, well, Let's go to part one, and if it is already green for you, you can just skip ahead to part two. So all we have to do is make sure that we go first, if it's not green, to the power station. And just to let you know, if you don't know how to get here, just look at the previous extract. So when you're in the power station, you see this little switch, you flip it, and now the power is on in the whole mall, and people can go into Kiba, they can go into Emercom, or... Like I said before, they can use 11SR to use this extract. So now, as you can see, it's green. So if it's already green for you, don't worry. And now all you have to do is actually turn around and go inside of the mall. So we're going to go inside the mall and we're going to go all the way down to the furthest escalator. Once you get to this escalator now, you want to go upstairs and you want to take a left to the Burger King or whatever it's called, but it, it's just a rip off Burger King. Let's not lie, but you want to go straight into Burger King and go into the bathroom. I know, I know this sounds weird. I know that. So we're going to head into the bathroom here. We're going to go to the right and you see that urinal there, click on it and it will reveal this keypad and make sure you use the 11 SR key, not the 21 WS. And now your extract is open. So now to get to that extract, though, we're going to have to go back the way we came. So we're going to go down the escalator and hang a left. OK, now we're down the escalator. We're going to take a sharp left here all the way down the hall. We're passing Kiba. Uh, we've got Adik to our right and Rasmussen in front of us, and then we're gonna go down the hole in the ground. So we're gonna go down here, and then you just kinda wanna go left, just a slight left, say, right near where the lights are on. And as you can see right here is an open door. If you didn't hit 11SR, this door would still be closed. And inside of here, there's a bunch of goodies on this couch, you can find a lot of valuables, and you know what? To get out, all you have to do is press the button on the wall and it's a two second extract. Pretty easy. So I hope this was easy for you guys to digest. I broke it up into parts, so I really hope it did help. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I make a ton of guide videos and a ton of just highlight videos. And I want you guys to come back. I'm not going to lie to you. So thank you so much. And until next time. I'll talk to everyone later.